Hey, beautiful you. Before I'm heading out, I'm going to dance another song, you know. On Spotify, I love to listen to this song, but it has a more uh, up, down, up time. Yeah, the beat is more up, you know. So now I found a song and now I just danced before one take. And I'm going to do the second take, you know, because I'm learning to dance with on my intuition. So enjoy. Let's put the volume a little bit in the ladder. <laughs> maybe one more, maybe. Where's my paper? Maybe yes. Oh, I fr <laughs> the music. I got a shock. I didn't expect it. Okay, I got it. Oh. Okay. Music. I love music. I love good music. I love good artists. I love good artists with good story. Hey, you have to have a background to be a good artist or to show your art. You know. That's what a good artist is and a good writer, you know, sharing their story. Yes, that's their lives. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. And let me see, let me see, let me see. It's a lot. I have to check it on another day, you know. Wow, it's a lot. It's a big paper. And I put a lot of things in there, you know. But hey. Yes, yes, yes. So, you know, what did I want to say? Oh, yeah, this I can say. You know, so in life, I am learning to really go more with the flow. Definitely, you know, because like I said, yes. Oh, sorry. Yes, my hair got, <laughs> comes in front of my nose and then it gets ticklish, you know. So, yes, in life, you have to go with the flow. 
go with the flow, even with music. So when you're dancing, you also go with the flow, but with your own intuition. You gotta feel the music, you gotta feel yourself, you gotta feel your body to show your real talents. Yes, dancing is a talent, and everyone does that you know, in his own way. And I love to admire people who could dance beautiful. Do you know? I could never dance like this before. Two years ago, I would never, ever thought I would do that. Even one year ago, it's like I found out in December, you know, that I can dance better like I ever did before. Wow. So it's improving and improving, improving, just working on it, you know. So that makes you also stronger and creative. And what else? There's more to share, you know. Sharing is caring. And I love the simple things in life. I love to find out a simple way to make yourself stronger, mentally strong, you know. Because, you know, we have a lot of motivational speakers out there with a lot of advices, you know, or, you know, coaches or whatever, you know, there's therapists, psychologists. Yes, you know, I love to, you know, also understand their brains. Yes, their wisdoms, you know, two years ago, more than three years ago, I had a therapist. Wow, what a beautiful woman she was. (laughs) We had great conversations, great conversations. And, you know, when you listen to a story from someone else, you know, there are also messages in for yourself. Not always, but hey, you connect as people when you are in a room together. You know, you understand, you know, sometimes it doesn't feel like, oh, I want to get out. Yes. Yes. And sometimes you feel like, wow, beautiful. Oh, let me stay a little bit longer. So, you know, the other things that I wanted to share, that's more, you know, because that's our things, you know, serious things you know and I just want to keep myself happy I just uh, yeah I I was hanging up some laundry you know I love to hang up the laundry too because you know I do it in different ways I'm doing it different tactics different things in my mind you know it's beautiful you know but hey when I also found the concept of that I will share it but hey first the children you know you start with yourself and then you share it with your children and then you share it Like it goes on, you know, especially when it's the beauty in the world. And, you know, we all got talents. We all got talents, you know. So when a mother has talents, yes, the father of my children, you know, wow. He never saw it, like I said, you know. But it's important for a mother, you know, for me as a mother, to teach my children, you know, you also have talents. It doesn't matter what it is, you know, you can find it, you know, but you first got to find who you are and feeling in the life. You got to feel in life. So there's more, you know, you got to be honest to yourself. How important is it to be honest to yourself? You need to be fair. You need to love yourself, you know, because someone who loves themselves will treat themselves like a diamond yes you gotta treat yourself as a diamond if you don't see yourself as a diamond how can you live in this world yes you will live like yeah a rock a rock with uh yeah with a lot of dirt on it you know somewhere in the water or maybe somewhere under the sand it comes on different ways those rocks you know you want to (laughs) be a bad rock do you want to be a good rock? Yes. Do you want to be a beautiful diamond or an ugly diamond? Yes. You choose what you want to be in life. So when you, it's important. The most important thing is, of course, you need to feel beautiful inside. And when you feel yourself beautiful inside, you will shine more on the outside. So there are a lot of people, you know, they look beautiful on the outside. Yeah. Yeah. But when you get to know them, their inside is ugly. So, you know, that's also what a mother teach, you know. Inside, outside is important. How you think in life. What is your ways? What are your thoughts? How is your background, you know? What type of person are you in the now? That's important, you know, because people share their stories and you can hear by the words how they are in life, you know, how they live their life, you know? Simple as that. That's a simple thing that I just see as a mother. That's important. Protection protection caring and loving them and sharing all the beauty so people cheers oh yeah i'm going to good people oh i'm so blessed you know i told a mother you know i have a lot of people not a lot but i have family in south africa i'm a south african girl and they aren't even blood related but they are my family and i love them so even in this netherlands where i am you know i have family just a few but they treat me as their daughter and I love it and I love them. And I'm so happy that they have always been there. Even if they haven't seen me in years, 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 they will always open the door and always offer me a meal, something to drink. And especially what I love is their love and their care, you know, and their wisdoms. Wow. I love to listen to their stories. Yes. 
They have beautiful things to share. And, you know, they're also all about the nature. Yes, they have nature in their garden, you know, fruit trees, figs, wow, grapes. <laughs> and the stories that she teaches me about the grapes, you know, how it grows, you know, and all that thing. So beautiful when you see how they share their love, what they really love. You can just see, you can feel, I can feel and see that they are really loving to share that story, you know, about the process in life, how nature works. Yes, it's important. We are nature. So that's what I love, being around good people, you know.